Hey everybody, Y here with OVM. So today we're going to be discussing a wire diagram, electrical troubleshooting of the start circuit for a CRF230F. Uh, it's the Honda and it's going to be for the years 2003 to 2013. Um, one of your viewers asked about um, having a problem with the start circuit, so let's get into the diagram and I can explain it to you and hopefully it will make sense and hopefully help you troubleshooting. Alright, let's go. Alright everyone, here is the diagram for the uh, Honda CRF 230F 2003-2013 for the electrical start. Alright, so this is going to be the starter motor right here, the starter relay, the battery, a neutral switch, a clutch switch, the ignition switch, and then the start button itself. So how the system works for this particular model is it is the starter relay is looking for a ground from either the neutral switch or the clutch switch and it's looking for power from the start switch. So let's just start with the power. So obviously the battery, you want to make sure you have a well charged battery and the connections are good. Uh, the battery literally just goes to ground and then a cable, I believe that the, the wire diagram doesn't show the color but I think it's just black it goes from the battery over to the start relay and then in the relay it goes in here. This is a fuse right here. There's a seven and a half amp. It's not really big. And then it just comes out of the starter relay, travels down on a red wire over to the ignition switch. Now at the ignition switch, so you should have power on the red wire to the ignition switch. Turn the ignition switch on, which closes this. You have power coming out. Ignition switch taught for a Honda is black. The so black wire come over here to the start switch. All right. At the start switch, when you press the button, it's going to send power out on a red and yellow. I know, I don't have a yellow highlighter, so the Ys are yellow. Bear with me. So the power is going to come up and around and hit the starter relay. Now, once the starter relay has power to energize this little piece right in here, which then pushes it up to make the contacts to make your starter work, it needs to also have a ground. So if you've got power coming from the start switch up to the relay, then it's going to be looking for a ground. So this model has two ways to get the ground. If it's in neutral, so you don't have to worry about the clutch at that point. So if it's in neutral, you'll have the ground for the starter relay. Good to go. If it's not neutral, like let's say you're in the middle of riding and you're in first, second, third gear and you fall over and you go to pick the bike back up, it's not going to start until you pull in the clutch because it's going to be it's going to be difficult to get it back into neutral at that point because the motor's not spinning. <clears throat> so at that in that point they're going to use the clutch switch. You pull the clutch in, which is going to give the ground for the relay and then you can start. Uh, things to look for. Obviously, you check the fuse. Make sure the fuse is good so power is coming out. You check the ignition switch, make sure power is coming in on red, out on black. You can check the start switch, make sure power is coming in on black, out on red and yellow. And then you can check the ground, right? So clutch needs to give you a ground. Oh, well, the neutral switch needs to give you a ground. And you can check the ground at the starter relay. And if you need to bypass it to see if it works, you can do that as well, adding your own grounds or powers, however you want to do it. Obviously, this is not being done on the bike. So this is just a quick little assessment for you guys to help you out, I hope. And yeah. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. That was just a quick video um, on a electrical start circuit for that Honda. Uh, again, someone asked for it. They're having the same issue. And I actually run into this kind of stuff all the time. In fact, I have a job on Monday with a rhino not starting. So this is pretty common. And uh, stick to the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid because it could be something as simple as just the fuse, um, a loose connection somewhere. I mean, you don't want to go diving into tearing everything apart, trying to pull the starter out when you, it could be something else. Hope that makes sense. Hope you all have a good day. All right, bye.